the sixth section of the quadratic test solutions is question 14. Question 14 uh, is a mathematical modelling question, a word problem as we often call them, found in the last section of most chapters. Really important as will often be on SACs and uh, particularly on tech free exams in year 12. In this chapter it's exercise 3L. So it's exercise 3L. To exercise 3L which is quadratic modeling. The height h of a stone t, a stone thrown two seconds after it's thrown vertically upwards is given by h equals 40t minus 5t squared. So we have some graph here of, oh, I'm going to draw it later so I'll put it over here, we have some graph of height against time and we throw the stone up in the air and then it comes back down to the ground and this is a graph of its height against time. Uh, the function is h equals 40t minus 5t squared. Looks like a negative, um, looks like a negative parabola or an upside down parabola. I'm probably going to do straight off with a modelling question. I'm going to try and sketch that just to see what I'm dealing with. I'm going to take t out and I'm going to have 40 minus 5t and I can see this is an upside down parabola so its shape is like that. Um, I may have also taken for that matter taken um, I could have taken 5t out and had 8 minus t inside there. I'll just tidy that up I think rather fully factorise it if I can. So I'm going to take out 5t and have 8 minus t and that makes it even easier to see. It's upside down with t intercepts at 0 uh, and uh, 8 for our intercepts. There are our intercepts. So that's 0 and 8 and upside down. It's going to go like that. Now, it will go like that, but we're not interested in negative height. Uh, it's, it's at time 0, it's kicked off, and over here at 8, it hits the ground. So therefore, it's a parabola. Um, we can easily find that the maximum occurs at 4. Time equals 4. I don't know what that maximum is, but I'm going to find out over here. Turning point is at time equals 4. So let time equal 4. We'll get h equals 40 times 4 minus 5 times 4 squared. 160 minus 5 fours. Uh, 5, 16, 5 times 16, 4 squared, 5 sixteens are 80, and we get a height of 80 metres. So I think that's the uh, actual first answer. The height is 80 metres. Go down a little bit further. Uh, the second question, sorry, off the page. What is the height of the stone when t equals 3? Well, that's, that's pretty easy. Um, this is part A here. Part B says, well, what's the height when t equals 3, so we'll just calculate by subbing in t equals 3, 43 minus 5 times 3 squared, the height will be 120 minus 5 nines are 45, 120 minus 45 is 75 metres. So we've already found that the maximum is 80, so over here we've got 80, up there at the turning point, that's 80. But after 3 seconds, which is just there, it's at 75. After 3 seconds. 
at 75. Then we go on to part C. Part C says, find the time it takes for the stone to return to the ground. So, stone is returning to the ground over there. Um, gosh, looks to me like it's 8 seconds. We've already calculated. Returns to ground. Um, if you wanted to show some working, you'd say, well, okay. It returns to ground when h equals naught, so I'm going to solve the problem of naught equals 40t minus 5t squared. Now what I'll do, I'll take out, oh, I can take out a 5 and a t, and I get, what I get, I get 8 minus t left, therefore t equals naught, or t equals 8. So it returns to ground after 8 seconds. We already knew that, but we were able to write that down and calculate it. In the graph there you can see it returns to ground after 8 seconds. And then lastly, part D, uh, find the times at which the height of the stone is 60. Height equals 60. What's the time? Now you can see here if I did 60 and used a different colour, like red, and dotted across at 60, I've got two times, two times. So we're going to find these two times when uh, the height is 60. How would I do that? Well, I'm just going to solve an equation. I am going to make height equal 60. 60 equals... Um, 40t minus 5t squared. I'll probably put the 5t squared over this side. 5t squared, subtract the 40t, leave the plus 60, make it equal naught. Um, I can actually divide both sides by 5 here. Both sides by 5. That gives me t squared minus 8t plus 12. So I've divided it into the 60 equals 0. I've divided both sides of the equation by 5. Now this is a lot more simple to solve than it was before. It's a cross method with a t and a t. Multiply to 12. So it could be 3 4s. Add that to 8. No. Could be six twos, add that to eight, yes. So it could be t minus six, t minus two. Just check that. Minus six by minus two plus twelve adds to minus eight. Therefore t equals two or six seconds. The height equals sixty, that's at two seconds, that's at six seconds. That makes sense, it's symmetrical. Seems to work. How would we mark that question? Well, there would be one mark for finding maximum height reached by the stone being um, being 80. There would be uh, one mark for the height at time 3. For the returns to the ground, now you may have done this in different places when you drew a graph or something, but there'd be, there'd be two marks. There'd be one for turning it into an equation and one for finding that it's 8. And then for part D... Um, there would be one, with the height of 60, what's the time? There'd be one for turning it into an equation, and then one for the two, and then one for the six. Uh, and that's the six marks for the question. So that is um, solving, solving, uh, or quadratic modelling type problems, or word type problems, with a reasonably simple one for this test. That concludes... Question 14, part 6.